I love my Toadfish Outfitters travel rods, but it's time to get spinning reels for them. Let's see what I picked. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well, I have been using my Toadfish Outfitters travel rods for a couple of years now, and I absolutely love them. But when I take them, I typically will take the reel off of one of my normal one-piece rods like this Shimano Symmetry reel that I've had forever. Shimano doesn't even make that reel anymore. And I would take the reels off my one-piece rods and then throw them in a reel case so that when I was traveling with my travel rods, I had reels for them. And I got tired of doing that, guys. That's kind of a, a pain to to take the, the reels off. And I, I leave my one piece rods all rigged up so that they're ready to go. And so when I'd get back from a trip, I'd have to re-rig everything. And I got tired of doing that. So I decided to choose a set of reels for my two Toadfish travel rods. Now, if you haven't seen my video on my Toadfish travel rods, I'm gonna put a link right up here where you can check that out. Guys, I have both the six foot, eight inch medium light and medium travel rod, as well as the seven foot, two inch medium and medium heavy travel rod. Guys, I love those travel rods. They are fantastic. They are not inexpensive, but they give you tremendous amount of flexibility. They are fantastic platforms for fishing, great sensitivity in a travel rod, even though they're three piece rods. Just, just awesome, awesome. But I'm not doing a review on the travel rod today. I wanna to talk about the reels I picked. So the first one that I picked, I'm gonna grab my six foot eight. The reel I picked for my six foot eight is the Abu Garcia Revo SX. Now guys, I love this spinning reel. So it is a fantastic, fantastic spinning reel. And I'm gonna kinda just, I gotta be careful because I'm shooting inside today because it's pouring down rain at the house. So normally I'd be trying to shoot this outside, but I gotta do it inside, so I gotta watch the, the ceiling. But there is the Abu Garcia Revo SX. And I wanna read some of the specs. Uh, guys, I know you can go online and check these out, but uh, let me just pull it up real quick. And I got the, the, the 30 size, by the way, guys. So they are, eight stainless steel bearings and one roller bearing. Uh, it has the rocket line management system, rocket spool lip design, uh, machined aluminum braid ready spool. So you can just spool braid directly on, uh, on the spool. You don't have to put backer. I always run backer guys because braid is expensive and you don't need 250 yards of braid on a, on a reel. You, you know, you just, you just don't. Uh, not that th that reel would take that much braid, but I always put a little bit of backer on before I spool up with braid. And then, you know, it has, let's see, what is the gear ratio? The gear ratio on the 30 is 6.2 to one. You can reverse the handle uh, right or left, and it has a max drag of 11 pounds. So braid capacity is 180 meters of braid at 10 pound test. I don't know why they give it in meters, but just think it's about 180 yards of braid uh, for 10 pound test. I could actually do the, the, the conversion guide. A meter is uh, three feet, three inches. So it's just three inches more than a yard, but eh, close enough. So why did I choose this reel? So a lot of you guys were gonna be going, that doesn't make any sense, Kevin. You bought uh, salt water travel rods and you're putting a fresh water spinning reel on there. Well, that is a great question. Why did I do that? Well, the biggest reason is, is because I use these travel rods in fresh water a whole lot more than I actually use them in salt water. If I'm traveling where I'm gonna go fish in salt water, I'm taking my boat with me. And if I'm taking my boat with me, then I'm taking my one piece rods with me. And so I'm taking my Shimano Terramars and, 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 and that kind of thing to do my fishing. So primarily, you know, I've fished these toadfish rods all over the country, but almost always in fresh water. 
During the few times that I'm going to fish these rods in salt water, guys, I've fished freshwater reels in salt water my entire life. I know how to maintain reels. I know how to oil them. I know how to clean them. I know how to wash them down. If you are using any kind of fishing gear in salt water, I don't care what it is, guys, you should always wash down your gear after fishing in salt water, and then you should oil your gear on a regular basis. So you should know, you know, where to oil, uh, how to add, um, you know, real grease, where to add real grease, that kind of stuff. You should be maintaining your reels anyway if they're in salt water. And so I am not afraid to use these reels occasionally in salt water, but because I'm primarily fishing fresh water, I decided to go with a really good quality, solid spinning reel for these rods that I know I'm going to be happy with. So on the 6.8, I went ahead with the Revo SX. And guys, I really like it. Right now, those reels retail for about $170. The rod itself is $198. So I wanted to spend, you know, a decent amount of money to get a really solid reel for a rod that was, you know, admittedly not an inexpensive, inexpensive rod. So what did I get for the seven foot two? Well, I've got it right here. And as I work my way up, I went ahead with Abu Garcia again. And in this case, I got the Zada, right? And so I'm gonna turn this around, watching the tip. <laughs> so here is the Zada. And I gotta say, this is another killer reel by Abu Garcia. Very, very smooth, uh, really, really great feel. I'm not sure whether I like the Revo SX or the Zada better. The Zada is $190, so it is a little more money than the Revo SX. And it's a little bit different of a real design. So let me see if I can hold both of these up here at the same time. You know, you can see on the Revo SX, you know, it's definitely, everything is scaled down, um, you know, under the spool, you know, versus the Zada. It's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit bigger. Um, and then, you know, the, the gear case of the Zada is different than the gear case of the Revo SX. So you've got two different design philosophies, I guess, going on there in these higher end reels. But I really like this, this Zada. It's very, very comfortable, very, very smooth. And let me read the specs. So I got a 3000 size uh, in the Zada. And so it is 10 stainless steel ball bearings with one roller bearing. Uh, lightweight aluminum frame, rocket line management, uh, rocket spool lip design, which uh, allows better control of the line coming off the spool when you cast. This is Everlast bail system, stainless steel main shaft and components for improved corrosion resistance. And the gear ratio is, is 6.2 to 1, just like the Revo SX. It has right or left hand retrieve, so you can rotate the handle. The max drag on this reel is 14 pounds, so it's up from 11. So I wanted uh, the I wanted more drag capacity on this rod because it is a medium or medium heavy, depending on which section I choose, instead of the medium or medium light on the six foot eight. And then the braid capacity is 180 meters at 10 pound test. So both of these reels, I think, are fantastic reels, and I think I'm going to get a lot of life out of these reels again. I'm not concerned about using either one of these reels for light saltwater use. If I know, like if I'm going to be going somewhere uh, where I know I'm going to be using these rods every day, really heavy in, in saltwater, that's the beautiful thing about travel rods is you're putting a new, you're putting a reel on every time you use them, right? Because you're putting them together. So I can take a, a saltwater reel if I want to, but for the most part, when I'm traveling with these rods, these are the reels that are going to be on them. And I'm going to have them in a, in a dedicated reel case loaded up so that they're ready to go anytime I want to take my travel rods, you know, anywhere I want to go. But guys, I'm super excited about these reels. These are some really high quality reels from, from, from Abu Garcia. And yes, you can spend more money, guys. I mean, Abu Garcia has got some reels that go up into the, the, the $500 range, right? They've got uh, what the Xenon LTX, I'm just looking at it as, you know, a $550 reel. They've got the Xenon MGX, it's 400. You know, the Xenon X is, is $300 reel. The Revo Rockets, you know, $200. So they do have some higher end reels in their lineup, but as far as I'm concerned, 
you know, I think this is really kind of the sweet spot for me in terms of what I want to spend for these for these rods. But I think you can't go wrong with a quality reel like the Revo SX or the Zada. So I just got back from a six week trip where I took these rods with me and I fished these rods, you know, in multiple states. I actually caught a rainbow trout on the 6.8. So that was pretty fun. Uh, but, uh, you know, I love, love, love fishing these rods. So I'm super excited about these reels. Guys, I'm going to put a link down in the description below where you could pick up these reels. Uh, it is an affiliate link. So if you use my link to purchase, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's a great way to support camp outside. Uh, we get a little commission on the sale. Guys, if you are thinking about a high quality reel setup for your travel rods, I would seriously look at the Revo SX and the Zada from Abu Garcia. If you're doing hardcore saltwater fishing, well then, you know, maybe a different reel selection would be good for you. But I would love to know if you have travel rods, what reels do you take with you for your travel rods? Drop some in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you run. If you have experience with the Revo SX or the Zada, I'd also love to hear that too. Tell me what you think of them. Drop some in the comments below. Guys, you can also connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and X, or our website at kempoutside.com. I can't wait to get these things out on the water and fishing. My next camping trip might involve some fishing. If it does, these rods are definitely gonna go and we're gonna do some field testing on these reels. But I gotta say right out of the box, guys, I'm super, super impressed with them. I'm gonna do individual reel reviews on these things where we actually go out and use them in a future video, but I just wanted to kind of talk about pairing rods and reels. I think that the 3000 size is the right size reels for these rods. On the medium, medium heavy, especially if you're fishing the medium heavy blank, you could go up to a 4,000 series reel, uh, you know, especially if you're fishing, you know, heavier line. I mean, these rods take, you know, up to, you know, the seven foot two takes, it's written right on here, you know, eight to 30 pound braid. And then the medium light medium, the six, eight takes, uh, let's see what it says. It says, you know, six to 20. So six to 20 on the medium light medium, eight to 30, on the medium, medium heavy. I spooled both of these up with Berkley X9 braid, uh, 15 pound test for both of them. I figured that was a good compromise right in the middle. I feel like if I'm gonna fish heavier, especially on the seven foot two and a medium heavy setup, if I'm fishing heavier, I've got some 4,000 series reels with some heavier lines, some 20, 25 pound braid that I can put on that rod if I need to. But all around, these are the reels that are primarily going to be fished on these rods. So if you have any questions at all, drop some in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you've got any questions about Toadfish Outfitters, the travel rods, the Abu Garcia reels, fishing in general, traveling with fishing rods, drop some in the comments below. I would love to hear you and respond and answer questions. And again, as I said before, if you've got any part of this, con this, this setup, tell me what you think of them. Guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. We exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. I admit this is probably not the kind of thing that you're going to put in the hands of your kids, but you might want to get them an inexpensive fishing rod set up while you fish with something nice. And guys, these are pretty nice. But by all means, get out there, go fishing, take your kids fishing. Remember, if you take a kid fishing one day when you're old, they might just take you. So take a kid fishing. Guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.